Hey YouTube, welcome to Elite Strategies. Today I'm going to be showing you how to create a monster cat like sound wave for any song file that you would like. Now I'm going to show you a quick example of what your sound wave will look like after this tutorial. As you can see, it looks very similar to the Monster Cat files, uh, their sound waves in all of their music videos. Now what you're going to need is Adobe After Effects, CS5, CS6, any of the versions. Now you can be using a trial or it, it doesn't matter, we're going to be using the same features. So what we're going to do right now is we're going to create a new project, so File, New, New Project. Once you create a new project, you're going to create a new composition. We're going to name this composition Monster Cat. Now the width and height, you can adjust to your liking, whichever you want, whichever best suits your videos that you're going to create. It's up to you. Now the duration is the duration of the animation of the video, which is based on how long your song is going to be. So my song is roughly 6 minutes and 12 seconds. You can adjust that to whatever your song is. Now click OK. Now once you've done that, you're going to come down to this box where it says Monster Cat and where you're going to be doing most of your work in. Now you're going to right click inside of this box and you're going to ge generate a new solid. Leave it at black solid 1. You can uh, Don't adjust the width or height and click OK. Once you've done that, we're going to import your song file so that it can adjust the loops and just sync the animation to your song. You're going to click File, Import, File. Now you're going to find your song on your computer. And if I'm going too fast, you can just pause and continue the video. So here's my song. I'm going to click Open. Now, I'm going to drag my wave file beneath black solid one. After that I'm gonna click black solid one and go under the effects and presets tab where I'll be choosing the audio spectrum. Now click generate and drag audio spectrum onto the black surface. Now we're gonna be adjusting the effect controls about of, of the Monster Cat sound wave, and we're going to be making it look very similar. So first, we're going to change the end frequency to 150. We're going to change the frequency bands to 225. We're going to adjust the maximum height to 620, just so it has a couple more loops, and it'll have more effects. Now you're going to leave everything else the same, except for softness, which I'm going to put at 0%. Now for inside color, you can adjust inside and outside color to whichever color you would like your your video to be. So I'm just going to put blue and pink. Okay, after you've done that, you're going to click on audio layer and you're going to select the file that you've imported, which is your song. So mine is this. So I'm going to click it. Now once I've clicked it, all of my files are synced into this. So pretty, you're pretty much done with your entire uh, Monster Cat file, uh, sound wave. There's one more thing you have to do. In order to make it a Monster Cat wave, you have to click select side A and B to side A, which means the loops will only go on one side of the line. If you select A and B, they'll the loops will be going on both sides. Now select side A. I like to keep it at digital just because it has better resolution and it has it has more effects than just the entire thing. Now once you're done with that, you are pretty much done. And I'll show you how to preview. Just gonna click play and you have to let it run through the actual song and just It'll run over the song and automatically loop your entire song. You don't have to adjust any of the loops. The uh, Adobe After Effects will automatically adjust the loops 
based on your song that you imported. And I hope this video helped you out, and I'm going to continue to keep making tutorials on all different games. I'm also going to be making some live streams and reviews for New Black Ops 2 and other uh, popular video games. Uh, if you need help uploading this to YouTube, I have created another video that will show you how you can upload it to YouTube and render it and create the best quality video. If you have any questions, don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe for more. Thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoy. Thank you.